so children to continue with our transaction related to sales and the general entry now the 22nd transaction that is say on 22nd of january 2020 sold goods of list price rupees 1 lakh 10000 to l at a trade discount of 10% and cash discount at the rate 5% see working note 1 so over here list price of goods sold was 1 lakh 10000 less trade discount at the rate 10% 1 lakh 10000 into 10 by 100 is equal to 11000 so 99000 is the balance this is the sales price now it is given at a cash discount of 5% it means that everything was paid in cash therefore a 5% discount was allowed so less cash discount at the rate 5% 99000 into 5 by 100 trade discount will not be recorded anywhere in the books of accounts so 99000s 5% comes to 4950 so the balance left is 94050 this was the cash that has been received by the firm so cash is coming in cash account will be debited 94050 discount allowed it is the loss he should have the firm should have received rupees 99000 and the firm is only receiving rupees 94050 because the firm has allowed a discount of 4950 it is a loss of revenue and the losses are debited discount allowed account will be debited 4950 and our sales the goods that were going out were of rupees 99000 the sales price 99000 will be recorded we will write the narration being goods sold of list price rupees 1 lakh 10000 to l at a trade discount of 10% and cash discount at the rate 5% is clear now 23rd transaction on 23rd of january sold goods of list price rupees 1 lakh 20000 to n at a trade discount of 10% and received 70% of the amount and allowed cash discount at the rate 5% see working note 2 so here is the working note list price of goods sold was 1 lakh 20000 trade discount was 10% less trade discount at the rate 10.120000 into 10 by 100 is equal to 12000 from 120000 minus 12000 it comes to 180000 this is the sales price now 5% cash discount will be allowed less cash discount at the rate 5% 1 lakh 8000 5% comes to 5400 from 1 lakh 8000 minus 5400 it comes to 1 lakh 2600 less cash received we have received cash 70% of the amount the amount was 1 lakh 8000 it's 70% comes to 75600 because such a large amount has been received therefore 5% cash discount was allowed so 27000 Yet to be received from M. So M becomes our debtor. So here, how much cash we are receiving? We have received rupees seventy-five thousand six hundred cash. Cash account will be debited seventy-five thousand six hundred. There is a loss on account of discount. Five thousand four hundred. It will be debited. Discount allowed. Account debit. Five thousand four hundred. And M becomes a debtor of rupees seventy seven thousand because yet rupees twenty seven thousand is to be received from M. So M will be debited twenty seven thousand. What was the sales price? One lakh eight thousand. And the goods were sold for rupees one lakh eight thousand. The goods are going up. narration being goods sold of list price rupees 1 lakh 20000 to m at a trade discount of 10% receives 70% of the 
amount and allowed cash discount 5%. It's clear? Now, transaction 24. Sold goods of list price rupees 130,000 to N at a trade discount of 10%, received from N rupees 40,000 in cash and rupees 60,000 by check immediately and allowed cash discount at the rate 5%. See working note 3. So here, this price of goods sold was 1,30,000. Less trade discount at the rate 10 percent, 1 lakh 30 thousand into 10 by 100, it comes to 1 lakh 17 thousand. This is the sales price. Less cash discount at the rate 5 percent, 1 lakh 17 thousand into 5 by 100, it comes to 5850. Balance left is 1 lakh 11,150. So, less cash received, we have received rupees 40 thousand in cash. 71,150 is yet to be received. We have received a check of rupees 60,000 from 71,150 minus 60,000. Balance left is 11,150, which is yet to be received from N. So we are receiving cash rupees 40,000. Cash account will be debited. We are receiving a check of rupees 60,000. Bank account will be debited rupees 60,000. We are suffering a loss of rupees 5850 on account of discount allowed. Discount allowed account will be debited 5850. And N is woman, yet rupees 11,150 is to be received. So N becomes our debtor. So N debit 11,150. And the goods are going out of the form of rupees 117,000. Two sales accounts, 117,000. Narration being goods sold for list price rupees 130, 1,30,000 to N at a trade discount of 10% received from N rupees 40,000 in cash and rupees 60,000 by check immediately and allowed cash discount at the rate 5%. Now the last transaction. The last transaction says That is the 25th transaction. Sold goods of list price rupees 140,000 to O at a trade discount of 10% received from O. 80% of the amount and allowed him cash discount at the rate 5% on it. On it means on the amount that has been received. On that amount cash discount is allowed. See working note 4. List price of goods sold is 140,000. Less trade discount at the rate 10 percent is 140,000 into 10 by 100 is equal to 126,000. This becomes our sales price. Less cash discount at the rate 5 percent, 1,800 into 5 by 100. This it comes to 5,040. Balance left is 1,20,960. Now how this 1,800 has been arrived? We have received cash 80% of the total sales price. 126,000 into 80 by 100 is equal to 1,800. So 20,160 is the amount which is yet to be received from O. Now, over here, on 25th, cash received is 1,800. Discount allowed is 5050. It is a loss, it will be debited. O has become a debtor of rupees 20,160. And the goods that are going out are two sales accounts, 126,000. So, narration being goods sold to O of list price rupees 140,000 at a trade discount of 10% received from O, 80% of the amount and allowed cash discount at the rate 5% on it. Now we will do the total of both the debit and credit columns. The total will come to 23,50,800 for both. So it's clear to all. Tomorrow we will do the rest.